to my mukbang mukbang thursdays uh sorry i missed last week i was having you know a dentist appointment i was supposed to get my tooth pulled but that got postponed so today i'm gonna catch up and do a mukbang so we're gonna do a hummus pasta recipe that i literally just made up yesterday and it turned out so good that i want to make it again and i have some leftover macaroni here that kind of funny Luis cooked it because um, he was gonna make something for the kids and then he remembered that I told him not to eat the macaroni because I was gonna I was gonna make mac and cheese with it but uh, I haven't made any cheese sauce recently like I was planning so he but he cooked it and then we remembered not to eat it and then he stuck it in the fridge and it turned out perfect because I used this to make hummus pasta yesterday and I'm gonna show you how I made it Plus, I'm going to add in some more things. So I'll show you what I did yesterday to make it. And then I'm going to add in some new things because I want to see if I can make it even better than I had it yesterday. So basically just macaroni that you have cooked and then rinsed until it's cold. Or you can leave it overnight in the fridge if you want after you've strained it. And um, yeah, so you do kind of have to like break the pieces apart though because it gets really clumpy. Sorry, it's gonna be hard to see in the bowl, so I'm gonna have to show you like this. But, so you just break it up. And normally we buy black bean hummus from Sprouts, but uh, um, I was at Walmart the other day and I saw this tribe salsa hummus, which I'd never seen before. So I thought, ooh, I'll give that one a try. And so that's what I ended up using in this. I think this would be really good though um, as well with black bean hummus probably with any kind of hummus but I guess it depends on what kind of flavors you like or the black bean hummus is kind of spicy but I'm kind of making this it might turn out a little bit spicy anyway so it's gonna be kind of a it's kind of an interesting combo it's gonna be kind of like a um, what's hummus like an Indian type dish along with a Mexican type dish kind of mixed together I guess you could say because um, yeah something like that <laughs> so anyway so cold macaroni noodles and then I just wanted to show you this one I still have some I still have some left over from yesterday from this one so I'm gonna scoop out the rest of my hummus which I'm not measuring obviously so there's kind of, kind of quite a bit of macaroni in here so I'm just going to use what's left of the hummus. So it's pretty much I used half of the hummus container yesterday using half of it today so it's pretty much like half a container for half a box of macaroni because this is only part of the macaroni that he made. So then I'm just going to mix this all together, Oop, try not to make a mess. I'm good at making messes. So I just mix it all. All right, so that's pretty good. Oh, I'm making a mess. It's pretty well combined. It smells really good already. And then um, what I did yesterday was I put some shredded carrots that I have left over from last week that I bought. And I put some of those in there. This is actually gonna make a pretty big batch, so I'm probably not gonna eat the whole thing myself, but you know, you can make this if your family likes hummus. You can make it for them. And then yesterday I added in some um, Yesterday I used a regular tomato, but today I'm going to use grape tomatoes. So we're just going to like cut those probably into little fourths. I got my tomatoes. I'm gonna dump those in. And then, okay, so yesterday when I made this, I just used these vegetables. 
and I added in this tahini and some chili lime cholula and I mixed that up and that's all that I stuck in it and it was really good so but today since I was thinking like this is so good it would be even better with more fresh vegetables and stuff like that so I decided I'm gonna add a cucumber but I'm only gonna put a half since this is already a very large amount of food Alright, so putting half of a cucumber in there. Sorry for the scraping noise. And we're gonna, I'm going to mix this all up. looks pretty good right so now I'm gonna add in the tahini of course it's to your taste so if you don't like this you could just leave it out or you could add like multi-purpose seasoning or you could add black pepper instead or you could just put you know just hummus and nothing else it's up to you obviously and then I'm gonna put more but I want to make sure it combines well. Oops. So the more you put, obviously, the more spicy this is going to get. I'm almost out. Mix it up some more. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to taste it to see. Okay, so this is how I made it yesterday and it was really good and Luis really liked it. I, I brought him some to work and he loved it. He ate it with crackers and really enjoyed it. And this is how I, you know, I ate it this way too, except for without the cucumber. And I really enjoyed it too, so, but I really wanna see how it tastes with some lemon juice and some avocado on top. So I'm gonna put some in here that's separate from that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. And I'm gonna add some avocado. We were being lazy, we bought this instead of fresh avocado. Mm, I guess I can use this, it doesn't really matter. I'm the only one eating it. I don't know. I really think it's going to be good with this combination. Let's find out. I think I might want to go grab some black pepper too and stick it in here. Give it a taste. I think it needs more avocado. Maybe I just need to mash it in. It's really good though. I didn't want to stick the avocado in the whole big dish because if I end up not eating it all and sticking it in the fridge, you know, avocado turns brown. If you if it's not fresh, you know, it turns yucky and brown and gets gross. But yeah, I like it this way. This is really good. I don't want to eat that huge chunk of lemon. 
So yeah, that's my pasta. You guys should give it a try. I'm gonna go grab some black pepper really quick. Just use, this is from Walmart. <laughs> I think this is really like a unique dish and I'm glad I came up with the idea and I think it would be cool for a potluck because I think it's something that most people wouldn't combine together at least that I know of I've never seen a hummus pasta before so I wouldn't yeah expect to see this at a potluck or anything and I might make this for my next vegan potluck that I go to Definitely doesn't need any salt, especially with the lemon juice in it. But I really like this Cholula. I went to Walmart today and I didn't buy any more. I need to go back anyway. I forgot to buy pasta sauce and I forgot to buy corn and beans. I guess I'll get some Cholula while I'm there too. I wish you guys could see. Sorry you're so far away. <laughs> it's really good. Luis is really gonna like this with the avocado added in. It's good. So I just spent an hour and a half on Skype with Jill for today, <laughs> my YouTube friends. That was fun. She was telling me that there's a veg fest coming to Oregon in October and that Shannon and Eddie, the veggie nuts, are planning to go out there and I was supposed to go to Texas for Texas Veg Fest to visit Amy fruity foodie Amy and Misty the vegan dog lady they met up um, at Texas Veg Fest actually plant-based cheapskate Jen she was there too so I missed out on meeting all of them because <laughs> I ended up spending my tax return on bills instead of going out there which I would have really liked to go and meet all of them but I couldn't do it at that time but Texas is a lot further away I would have to fly Oregon is a lot closer and I might be able to drive there even if I go by myself so I might try to figure out if I can make it up to Oregon and go to Texas Veg Fest. That would be so much fun. I would love to meet Jill and Randy and I would love to meet Shannon and Eddie from the Veggie Nuts. You know, sometimes the best meals come out of just looking in your fridge when you have barely anything left and just combining a bunch of things that you never would have put together before or you, like you never would have thought to use it together before. That's how this was made <laughs> and it turned out really good. I've experienced that quite a bit, just throwing things together and it turns out to be so good. 
I learned that from my parents. Somebody just stuck a paper in my door. It scared me. <laughs> it's probably some notice about how we haven't cleaned off our patio yet. <laughs> Anyway, I learned that from watching my parents cook that you don't need to measure. You don't always need to measure. You just throw a bunch of things together and play with it and sometimes you come out with a great meal. I like my new shirt. <laughs> my Ninja Turtles inspired shirt. Got it from tfury.com. It's my favorite t-shirt website. They have awesome t-shirts. I got a little bit of the carrot stuck in my front teeth. Next time I go to Sprouts, I'm gonna get some black bean hummus and make this for Gary and because he loves black bean hummus. Ow. <laughs> I think I'm mostly talked out from being on Skype for an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm out of things to say. It is funny though because Jill from Jill for today that I was Skyping with, she doesn't like watching mukbangs. So she probably won't know that I'm talking about her right now. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> Luis is going to be really happy to come home and find this 
all of this waiting for him. so hungry. <clears throat> it's almost 12.30 and all I've had is a little bit of watermelon. I took the boys to school and then went grocery shopping. And now I know to always go to Walmart really early because there was hardly anybody there and it was awesome. And I told the lady, it's really slow. She's like, oh yeah, it usually gets busy after 12. And I was like, awesome, I'm coming early from now on. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite flavor of hummus is. This one's pretty good, but black bean and red pepper is still my favorite. <clears throat> I want to stab myself. That's it. <clears throat> I'm done. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let me know in the comments if you try it, if you make it, and if you like it. And if you share it with any of your friends if they like it. <laughs> friends or family. Well, that was really good. I'm full. It's filling. I didn't even eat that much. Very filling. Especially with avocado. You know, avocado makes you feel fuller. So that was it. Thanks for joining my little broccoli bites. I'll catch you in the next mukbang. Bye.